أنا أمل عمري 19 سنة تلميذة قسم تاني حلمي كتير كبير حلمي إني كفي درسي وأتسجل بالجامعة بس للأسف هيدا الشي ما رح يصير أه ليه؟ لأن تكاليف تعليمي أكبر من إنه يتحملوها أهلي يعني حتى تكاليف عيشتي بدون يحملوها لحدا تاني أه لهيك بدون يزوجوني لحدا أكبر مني بعشر سنين قصتي بتزعل يمكن بس اللي زعل اكتر انه هيدي مش قصتي لحالي هيدي قصة لاجئات سوريات مثل كتير بلبنان According to the latest surveys, there are currently 1.5 million Syrian refugees living all over Lebanon. In the age group between 19 to 24 years old, considered youth, the majority, 87% of women, are not in education, employment or training, called NEET, compared to 38% of the men. Of these female youth, 58% reported to be in need due to marriage, whereas at the percentage of males not in education, employment or training is considerably lower than just 14%. But what are the reasons for all these women to be married instead of pursuing education? A representative study from 2020 suggests a correlation between future security and marriage. Although marriage was viewed far less desirable than education to ensure women a promising future and education to be the best tool for a protected future path in the long term by girls and parents alike, the educational barriers that Syrian refugees face make it almost impossible to pursue an education. To be ridden of the financial burden, many families see themselves forced to marry their female children off. This is already touching upon some of the many barriers Syrian face when trying to enter the educational sector in Lebanon. Let's have a closer look. First of all, according to Lebanese policies concerning education for Syrian refugees, they are compelled to provide certain documents such as birth certificates, residency or former school scores, which most of them cannot provide, as they fled their homes and residency is very hard to obtain for them in Lebanon. Then 29% of the young participants of the representative study reported that Lebanese public schools refused them, partly because of lacking documents, but mostly because the public education sector in Lebanon is heavily overrun. Since the economic crisis in Lebanon, which hit even harder with the COVID-19 pandemic, more and more Lebanese students transferred to public schools as they couldn't afford the fees anymore. This is leading us to another problem. Private education is becoming too expensive for most Syrian refugees, as 90% of them are living in extreme poverty by now, financially speaking, compared to 55% back in 2019. We see Amal's story is not a singularity. Syrian refugee youth face a combination of issues, gender bias, economic insecurity, and general racist and discriminatory policies and practices in Lebanon. Already in 2020, a study by LAU and the Center for Lebanese Studies emphasized the importance to support Syrian refugees in covering all schooling costs in order to not lose a whole generation. Also, Human Rights Watch noted that it is crucial to lift unreasonable restrictions on enrolling in public schools, as well as abolishing the discriminatory practices and policies. All this is needed to ensure education and a promising future for Syrian refugee youth and especially their women. Let us amplify their voices and stories to provoke change.